Good morning. My name is John. I, my wife, Deb, and I are new members here. We are love, love being here at YPC and really enjoying to get to know many of you. Um, YPC is quickly becoming our church home. Many years ago, when my daughter, Brooke, was just 14 months old, she got a bone infection in her femur, uh, just above the knee. It was a toxic, toxic shock infection and we almost lost her. When it started, Deb took her to our pediatrician uh, who took one look at her and told her to get back in the car and drive to Loyola, that he would call the hospital and tell her that she was on the way. It was a tough time. At one point, her temperature shot off the top of the thermometer. Um, I'm happy to say Brooke is fine now, a mom of two kids, but it took 30 surgeries. During those early days in the hospital, we struggled. Um, and I will say uh, that it was also a time of where we experienced the blessing of generosity from the members of our church. They supported us with meals, with babysitting for our son. Uh, they did our laundry, cleaned our house. It was a generosity that we are still grateful for. It was their generosity for a young couple that cemented in our hearts uh, a gratitude, a spirit of gratitude that rests on our hearts and has guided our lives ever since. Um, in the years that follow, we have tried to generously give of our gifts, our money, our time. Deb became a director of youth, youth ministries at our church instead of teaching in the public schools school district, which would, of course, paid a lot more. Uh, our lives uh, were deeply involved in church, and there were times when, I swear, we half our belongings made it to church for youth activities. <laughs> Though through it all, we are, remain grateful for all those days. The Stewardship Committee is asking you to consider your monetary gift. Each of us will seek to find a level that fits with who we are. But I wanted to leave you with one, one thought, and uh, I'm stealing this thought from my son, who is a pastor down at Fourth Press. We are never depleted by gener generously giving of our gifts. We are never depleted by our generosity. Deb and I can speak to this. Generosity has given us far more than we could ever have imagined. We are never depleted by our generosity. Thank you.